You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife, humbled. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. A story by Max Parry, Catherine Mayer Fennell, and Hanisha Setti has appeared in The Express. The headline runs, Royal Family, Harry's wife humbled after being brought down a peg. Harry's wife has been humbled by bonjour, recent events, according to an in-the-know photographer that makes a living taking pictures of the Duchess. Ah, well, they're bound to have the inside track, aren't they? Jill Ishkanian, a superstar snapper, told Newsweek that something's changed in the world of the former Suits actress, and it's plain for all to see. Or, at least for those who know what to look for, Ms. Ishkanian told a publication, having pictured Harry's wife at a farmer's market, this would be the fourth time photographing Harry's wife since 2021, and I had a different vibe from her this time. Aha! Yes, the all-seeing, all-knowing vibe. When you do this kind of work, you become very intuitive. The way she looked at me, it was just different than the other times. She just seemed like she'd been humbled a bit, or brought down a peg a bit. Perhaps Harry's wife's less-than-glowing aura is reflective of her slew of recent public flops. Archetypes, the podcast series commissioned by Spotify, has fallen dramatically down the charts, and the deal between the Sussexes and the corporation is now dead. Meanwhile, Prince Harry's book Spare has seen the couple globally ridiculed. Even Harry and Harry's wife's Netflix documentary, which performed well, did not reach the lofty heights that they would have expected. It's in this context that Harry's wife's negative vibe must be viewed. Well, that's the view that she has been humbled, that she has been brought down a peg or two. Now, first of all, the fact of it being something that's provided by a vibe is not exactly evidence that is to be relied upon. But more importantly than that, you, of course, know that she is a narcissist. She isn't humbled. She might, of course, dole out a pity play. It might be the case that as she wanders along, she looks downwards and channels Diana with a bit of the batting of the eyelashes. But Harry's wife is not humble. She can't bake a humble pie, nor even eat it. And she certainly wouldn't even know how to spell the word. She probably thinks that humble means that she's brilliant. The fact is that she has not been humbled. She has externally. All of these knockbacks would humble anybody else, but not her. Why? Because the shield that is her narcissism continues to tell her, like somebody standing behind a Roman emperor reminding him, you're just a man, you're just a man. The narcissism in the same way tells her, You are wonderful. You are brilliant. You are not to blame. This is just nonsense being spouted by haters. The reason this failed was because it wasn't given the adequate support. This failed because they didn't put the right, appropriate writers on it. This failed because they didn't promote it with sufficient airtime. You, Harry's wife, have done nothing wrong. It's the fault of him, her, them, anybody else but you. And accordingly, this is what happens with Harry's wife. She cannot feel humble because one such as her is never humbled. She can't be humble because she's not brought to that position because her narcissism gets in first. As I've explained elsewhere, she might feel a moment of humiliation, but to be humble requires self-reflection. And she has none. The narcissist has no self-reflection. And therefore, in order to be humble, one would have to recognise the circumstances and learn lessons from it. Narcissists don't. That's why the lesser and mid-range ones who repeatedly fuck up 
keep fucking up because they don't learn from what's happened last time and they don't need to because the narcissism ensures that there is nothing to learn. What is there to learn when you're not at fault other than don't trust that person again? And even then, a narcissist may well do so if the narcissism determines that it, it suits their purposes to engage with that person once again. There is no being humble when it comes to Harry's wife because her narcissism prevents her from achieving that state of affairs by reminding her that she's amazing and that everybody else is at fault. Accordingly, there is no need for her to be humble. Humble, of course, threatens a sense of control because it suggests that she should be beholden to other people when, of course, it must be the other way around, that they must be beholden to her because she's so special, so important, so invigorating, so effervescent, so brilliant, so fascinating. The fact is that she's always been out of her depth and her narcissism has done its level best to keep her in place but has failed. What about below the line? Do people recognise that this is accurate? Well, naturally it isn't, as I've explained, and the individual that talks about her being humbled clearly does not understand narcissism, for if they did, they would recognise that she is incapable of being humble, and what they saw instead was possibly the fact that she was zoned out and elsewhere, because often the narcissist can wander on essentially with the off switch in place, or that she was doling out some form of pity play by appearing meek and mild for the purposes of manipulation. But below the line, Alan R.T. states, Harry's wife has been humbled by bombshell recent events, question mark. I suggest the wording is incorrect. Try a rumbled. That's more accurate. Bint Ashore, humbled. Someone has a sense of humour. She would not know what humility, humility is. Humility requires empathy, concern for others, honesty, loyalty, integrity, compassion, conscientiousness, resilience, strength, a good work ethic, generosity, a soul, etc. All the things this woman is not. Humbled, Harry's wife, a contradiction in terms. Had she been humble at any stage in the last four to five years, things would have been different, and she wouldn't be in that shit creek without a paddle. She would not have gone from hero to zero at the speed of light, all of her undoing, and because of her own behaviour. Pomps PC. Don't believe a word of it. She's far too crafty and manipulative to be humble. Plan A didn't work, and moving on to plan B. Got news for you, Harry's wife. That won't work either. Beanie 7 -0. So Jill Ishkanian, photographer to the stars, took the recent farmer's market photos. Somewhat confirms the whole event was staged, doesn't it? Jem, Harry's wife, humble, she wouldn't know the meaning of the word. Jewels, too late, damage done and irreparable. Our late queen sadly passed away with race allegations hanging over her head, which could have been corrected while she was still living. She served our country until the day she died. She never complained or put her foot wrong. She gave her life of service as promised. She was a good, kind person who didn't deserve to be treated so cruelly. There is no way to backtrack, in my opinion. SUZM30. Don't be fooled by this. The photographer is Harry's wife. Now go to that back grid has turned tough. You can't change a lifetime of self. This is just another ruse to get sympathy and attention. Mayor Grace. Nothing about her seems humble. Just another tactic to stay relevant. Comment 8. She's an actress. It's all an act to garner sympathy, which she doesn't deserve, by the way. She's done her best acting work since she left Suits, trying to convince us of her victimhood. No wonder she never made it in Hollywood. Nobody in the Express accepting that she can be humble. None of them realise it's because of her narcissism, but they certainly do recognise that she cannot be humble. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.